Hello everyone and welcome to Gilbert's Gaming Channel. I am the dude. We're about to play Conflict of Nations on our Spain playthrough, day 16. Alright guys, things are looking pretty good. Let's um, move this troop. This one, this one, this one. <coughs> and get them to our new front line. Up in Belus lands. Anyway. Hua. Let's bring them in. Let's bring them in. Okay, we've got six messages. Let's have a look. Obviously built some troops. Conquered Mali territory, which is Iceland. And we're damaging bits and pieces of Belarus. Good. Now, Belarus has been messaging, saying, why have I attacked? Uh, I just said, well, you were trying to attack my land. And, this, you know, I've worked hard for that. And so we must fight. <laughs> I think Finland is a little bit worried about it. As they share so much border with them. However, <clears throat> you know, they might be a big player. You've got a lot of land. We're going to have to deal with them at some point, right? So why not do it? As you can see here, we're clearing out this city. These ones have already been cleared. We're moving in tanks and troops. We are looking good. We're going to keep our boats there, just in case anything should attack while we're there. But we're going to claim all this land all up the side here. And tidy up. And then we're going to move to the front line over here. Where we shall continue to push Belarus. Uh, hopefully we should be successful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We really just gotta to get to their homeland, which is only here. What the heck is that? This? That makes sense. It is Belarus. Well, apparently we can see it. Alright. Fair enough. Did we put spies in there? No. <clears throat> right. So what do we need? What do we need? Speed. Greasy fast. Ah, no. Lightning speed. Right, as you can see, we've got tanks and infantry on the way through also. <clears throat> we could probably afford to build one more infantry. It's tempting to build more boats. Let's build another boat. got enough supplies to do that nice all right yeah cool we'll work with that these troops will be getting up the front line soon as soon as we've captured these cities what we're going to do is we're going to build airports in them so we can produce a faster way of transporting our troops there um, any corvettes that we're going to make we're going to start putting more corvettes around the area just in case they send something through the sea but I think we'll be all right. I might even put some boats around some of our ports here just to protect ourselves from what may come from the west. So we'll um, we've got a guard against that also. But if they come from that, they're probably going to come quite prepared. So a corvette isn't really going to stop them, but it'll slow them slightly. At least it'll alert us. All right, cool. Well, what we'll do then, I'll leave that one here, guys. We're just going to keep pushing in. We'll take all these cities and all the land around it. And then hopefully we can get to that front line real quick with some extra troops, extra stacks. We'll hopefully get some AA sorted as well because we haven't got any of that in here yet. Is there one? There's one. And they're, just, they're not great, but there's something. Why did that just say five seconds? Oh, I see. It's 58. <clears throat> Awesome. Right. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'll leave this one here, guys, and I'll see you on day 17. Hey, all, and welcome to day 18 of our Spain playthrough on Conflict of Nations. We are looking terrible. <coughs> I'm sorry. I missed out day 17, guys. I've been pretty unwell. Um, so here we are. As you can see, we have not been supported by our alliance whatsoever. And that's okay. But we've been mushed. 
So let's go. Let's go mush back. Go get him. Ah! Why can't I attack them? Oh man, I don't think we're going to be able to survive this, guys. Um, but we'll give it a go. You can see there's plenty more coming in. We've got. There's frigates. Oh, they're f Why can't you just bomb them? They're not even attacking Belarusian troops that are just in the water. Yeah, I've been abandoned. We've got 199 events to have a look at. We'll skim over those, but you can see Ukraine have smashed us over here as well, so um, that's not good. They've been really effective. Belarus and Ukraine have come in and hit us quite hard. Um, I guess I was expecting more support from the Alliance. E um, Germany's troops have all just like disappeared. Now, remember that before they had like loads. They're gone. They've met some stiff resistance and all died or something. I'm not sure what's going on there, but hey ho. Uh, you guys, we're possibly being supported by Romania. Might be the only ones actually supporting us here. You can see there is transport squadron, artillery being brought in, loads of infantry. they got tons of stuff. And they are bringing it all up to us. Anyway, let's run away. Let's leave this before it's too late. Um, we're going to send my fighter jet to go and attack these. That would be quite interesting to take that down, wouldn't it? Right. Yeah, these are locked in battle. I'm sorry, guys, but... I'm sure you're dead. Yes, no doubt about it. Hmm. I don't really know what else we could do. If, even if we were to run and try and start something else, they will find us. We are kind of stuffed. But let's see what happens. We're going to go and kill this thing. Oh, there you go. He finally did it. Go kill that. We'll go back round and kill these. Hopefully we can sort of fight off some stuff and take something back and stay in the game. We're going to bring these home. They'll go take Calais after this has been cleared. We only took Calais earlier today as well, so they've, they've recently done that again. I mean, I have been whooped. There's no way we're going to win this. Um... Moving all my troops back to the home area. Okay. No one's really said anything about helping me. So, um, And someone has a peace pact with Belarus. That's in our alliance, so they're not going to help. But hey-ho. Hmm. And, you know, Romania and Finland are in a good position to actually help out against Belarus. They've got plenty of troops. Germany had a bunch of troops. But I guess I'm just collateral damage. Never mind. Why are you withdrawing everything? You prepare... Oh, to... Maybe you're just getting ready to fight off Belarus and Ukraine. Who knows? What are you doing with this? Ethiopia attacking the homeland. This seems like a game I wish I could stay in. There's a bunch of good players in it. Ooh... We'll do our best. I don't think we can actually make... Have we got a city? Yeah, we got Malaga. Build something. Um, build? We can't afford to build anything else. Okay, we're actually minus 12 per hour. With those resources as well. Um, no! 
Hmm. Maybe I should. I can't even cancel that, really, can I? It's not going to help. Um. Ah, oh, well, we'll see what happens, but I've got a feeling this game might well be over for us, guys. But we'll check in tomorrow. And hopefully, we'll have retook some land, but no promises. Right, I'll leave that one here, guys. I'll see you on day 19. Hey all, and welcome to day 19 of our Spain playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Oh my damn. This is, we're just in a mess, guys. We're, we're going to die very shortly. I have praised Belarus for his swift actions with Ukraine. I think they've worked very well together. And, I, you know, it's good to let them know, right? Anyway, you can see we're running troops around. Um, are they attacking anything? Yeah, they're bombing everything. Okay. Well, we took Paris back. We've got Nevers back. We got <laughs> we got Bordeaux, Bordeaux. Sorry, Bordeaux. Um, we're going to go down, take Barcelona, Zaragoza, Madrid. I'm just going to run through and take them all back. Hopefully that works out. I don't know. I mean, we'll we'll see. I guess. No, do not go in the water, my friend. Do not go into the water. Just go take them all back. Hopefully we'll get some hometowns and we can build some troops because we've got nothing. Um, bomb clear in London from Belarusian troops. They're running all the way now. They know what I'm up to. So um, Let's leave Calais. That's probably... Everything's going to rebel. Let's face it. But we'll figure it out. Now, I've sent some more troops down from Iceland. Hopefully they can go and do some good. We've got a couple of tanks and an infantry. We're going to clear Ireland. We'll hopefully take the UK. Um, we've got a lot to do. I don't think we're going to survive this. Our allies are still not even bothered about trying to help us. They're looking after themselves. So let them perish. Ethiopia is absolutely spanking them. I think we're all doomed. But we'll... Um, We'll play it for a bit longer and see what happens. If it takes a real bad turn for the worse overnight, then maybe tomorrow will be our last day. And let's have a look. Have they messaged back? They have. Just said thanks. I was like, well played. I think credit where credit is due is important in life. Um, so I like to let people know when they're doing well. Right, territory lost. Yeah, we're just going to see a load of this. There's, what's the point of even looking? There's, there is no point. Nothing I can really do with this either, is there? I'm a little bit too poor to get any new research going. But hey ho, we shall keep bombarding. Um, Ukraine are whipping around, taking everything from us down here. Which is fine. I mean, we need to try and get our homelands back. Just so that we don't have to annex them again, really. We need some proper resources and somewhere to build back up. But the longer we leave it, the more they're sending over. And look at our allies. He could really clear this all out if he wanted to. They've got fighter squadrons, wings. I've got one. Let's send it in to go get the squ strike squadron. Did you go? No, you didn't. Can you? Dude! Attack! Thank you. Right, there we go. We conquered New Orleans. Good. Oh, it's there. Oh, why did I think that was a city? I don't know. But I'll take it. I'll take anything. We're going to have a little smudge of land back soon. I can then move this boat round. We'll go push it on something else. Let's clear it all. We'll take back whatever we can. It's going to be horrible. But we've had games where we've had worse. So um, let's see what we can do with this situation. Anyway, I'll leave that one here, guys. There's no point spending anything. We're losing resources each round, each day, hour, whatever you want to say. 
we're losing them. So we just got to try and live until our allies decide they want to help or they have they are forced to help because Ukraine and Belarus have gone to war with them as well. Who knows? If we can live for a little bit, we might be able to pull back something, but I got a feeling it's over. All right, guys, well, I'll leave that one here, and I'll see you on day 20. Hey, all, and welcome to day 20 of our Spain playthrough on Conflict of Nations. Right. Let's have a look. It's looking terrible for us. Oh, there's a stack of seven. Yeah, we're dead. Never mind. Yeah, I think this game may well be over soon. Let's have a look at what messages we got. Anything important? Ukraine. What went wrong? <laughs> you guys are too good for me and the coalition I'm in is everyone for themselves. There you go. Anyway, I think we're going to lose. There's, if I was to come out of the coalition that I'm in, I, I, I would say Germany will probably attack me just to get some quick land while they keep peace with Belarus and Ukraine. Um, they've, no one's mobilized an army towards Belarusian borders or anything. It's just they gave up all their territory here, ran for it don't understand that India's in their homeland they're not doing anything here They have they give up? I don't know Finland again not moved anything for days and we are about to be crushed I mean I think I'll do another Spain playthrough at some point because it was quite interesting to play but I think it would be better if I joined a coalition early in the game. I think that could have helped. Unfortunately, this would have probably been quite a good game because there's a few players which are punching, which is decent. As you can see, there's you can see all the players that are done well here. It would have been quite interesting to play this through properly, but never mind. Will them? Um, I say we'll just let this one die off. Because there is just no point anymore, is there? We can retake Ireland. We're never going to be able to hold it. We've got no AA. No... Nothing. We could probably take the UK, but we're not going to be able to hold that for very long at all. We are far too close to them. And there's nowhere to really go. We go this way, we're dead. They'll, they'll come and get us because they've got the resources. It's too late in the game for them to actually be stopped by masses of water but hey hey doesn't matter let's carry on right yeah all right i'll leave this playthrough here guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it for what little came of it and like i say we'll be back again soon i'm sure we'll do another playthrough and hopefully things go a little bit better we're still learning at what we want so I've got a few games going on trying to perfect my techniques and things to use. I've still got a lot to learn and we'll be back once we have a little bit more knowledge and we can uphold our end slightly better than we did. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this. If you have enjoyed it, please do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care all. The dude is out.